Does all this time at home have you loving your place or are you ready for a new one here in Hoboken and Hudson County? What's going on guys? It's Jeff and Red with Homes by Bonk. And um, if you're in that later camp, guys, we got some information for you. Uh, if you're ready to get out there and start looking for a new home, if you realize you need more space, a new view, a new home, a new neighborhood, whatever the case is, if you are looking for a new place, you should know what's going on, what we've seen the last few weeks, what we've seen this year versus the past few years based on you know all the restrictions and stay-at-home orders that we've had, and what that may, may mean for the rest of the spring and summer. What's the trajectory like right now, and where are we going? So what I did is I put together some information both on Hudson County, which is the broader area we cover, and also on Hoboken, which is a more niche area we specialize in. And we're talking a little bit about what's going on in the neighborhood, what kind of listings have come to the market the past few weeks? What kind of under contracts and what kind of how many listings have gone pending, which is really the real time indicator. A lot of people ask about how many things have closed and sold. That's really lagging. We're looking 60, 75 days back on that data. The real time stuff is listings and pendings. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to look at uh, Hudson County first. Then we'll move into Hoboken. We'll also take a look at some rental data. And then we'll look back at what this year has looked like versus 2018 and 19 and what kind of volume we're seeing and you know, what does that mean for how much maybe pent up demand coming over the next few months and uh, weeks and months. So let's get into it. Let's start first, as I mentioned, in Hudson County. So first, we're going to look at new listings week by week in Hudson County. And we're going to start back in about early to mid-April where things really started getting closed down and, and a lot of restrictions on the marketplace. <laughs> so we start back in that week looking at 79 new listings to the market. And that's down about 70, 80 percent what we saw the years prior. We'll get into that data in a second, as I mentioned. But as we saw going into mid to late April and very much uh, uh, dramatically in May, we saw the new listings really pick up. And what that means is that sellers are now more confident that there's going to be buyers in the marketplace people didn't put their homes on the market because they were worried there was no one there to buy them um, so this means they're feeling more confident their real real estate professionals are advising them that they can be more confident and that there's some restrictions being loosened we could sh get into more buildings do showings after we do virtual for a while we couldn't get into buildings we can get into almost all buildings now to do showings so people are feeling more confident that the accessibility and the confidence is there from the buyers to go into the listings so let's see, did that back up by, is that backed up by how many pendings we have? So we look at Hudson County pendings, looking at that same date range, starting back in early, mid uh, April, and we see very low activity. We see 37 uh, deals going pending. We see 40 homes going pending, but really starting that first week or two of May, we're seeing a big jump, almost a 50% jump of uh, new listings going pending up to 62 and even 79 last week. So a really nice uh, you know, feeling of confidence that buyers are back, sellers are seeing that and feeling that and are willing to list their property. So we're seeing a market that's in, in unison moving up and in, into the right direction. Now we're gonna take a quick look at Hoboken, uh, smaller numbers obviously, because we're looking at one town inside Hudson County, but really dramatically low numbers in, in April. I mean, we had nine listings, 17 listings, 11 new listings. And this is versus when we're, years prior that we really were seeing, these are 30, 40, 50 listings a week usually. Um, so really low numbers starting in April. But again, in those first two weeks of May, we're seeing a nice increase. We're seeing it jump to 32, almost three times more the week prior. But an interesting thing here is we didn't see another jump last week. We saw a little bit of a pullback. So we're seeing a market that really is still trying to figure out if there's confidence. Are people willing to live in urban areas? Are people trying to leave urban areas? And we're seeing a tale of two cities for sure. Um, so let's take a look at the pending. What happened on the buyer side? Were buyers willing to step up and buy some of those properties that were coming on the market? And we see another very similar story. It's very slow in the early days and weeks of April and mid-April, six, nine, three. But then in the last two weeks, we did see a nice jump. We saw it go to eight and then 12. So again, a small sample size, but we are looking at you know three, four times more people, more buyers out there willing to make offers and willing to go under contract and move forward with listings in Hoboken. So a, a nice uh, sign for the market and a trajectory that's definitely moving up in the right direction. Um, these are numbers that are, are market-wide. I can tell you for our team, we are, are showing requests, our inquiries on our listings have gone up precipitously over the last two weeks. And as well have our calls from sellers and clients that are saying, hey, I've been watching things both on the news and in the real estate market on Zillow and different places where people usually start kind of keeping their eyes on things. 
Uh, it seems like things are loosening up. It seems like more people are taking action. Is that the case? Should I get ready to move? We were thinking about it in the next few months. Is this the right time? And the answer right now, it seems, is yes. Um, we don't know what kind of what COVID-19 does in the future. We don't know if we're going to see another spike in the fall, what the winter ho holds for us. But right now, we know that some restaurants are starting to open. We're seeing places that are, are, are going to allow outdoor seating in the summer. We're seeing retail shops open up. So we're seeing movement in the right direction. And when we see confidence that people can get back to normal in Hoboken and Hudson County, to, in some degree, they're going to be more willing to buy a new home or now we'll move into rent a new home as well. So let's take a look at the rental market. We're going to look at that same time period, that early to mid-April through last week, and we're looking at new Hoboken rental listings. Um, a few weeks prior, we were definitely down. We're down about 50% from what we expect to see this time of the year, 49, 49, 69, start to see an uptick, 71, and then even 100 listings last week. So the reason that we're seeing this is we're seeing the normal people that would be renting their apartments, but we're also seeing some would-be sellers that are not too confident yet that they want to put their home on the market with a lot of uncertainty, both in the economy and with the health uh, scenario of the country and with COVID-19 coming, spiking, going back down. So we're seeing more people flip to that landlord mentality than selling into an unknown market. So this is something we have to keep our eye on because if we continue to see that trend, we could see a softening rental market, which would be you know, more opportunity for a potential tenant to get a nicer place for a less for a, lo a lower rent, but landlords could be you know having to consider doing some price cuts or risk some vacancy. So when we look at these increasing pretty dramatically listings, we take a look at how many rentals went pending, and this supports that same thought process of a softening potentially softening rental market where we see rental pendings flat through the last five six weeks. So we have not seen that increase as we've seen on the sales side so it's something again it, it's only a week by week and it's a small sample size but if we continue to see that we could expect to see some softening rental prices when we go back to sales since things are moving pretty much in tandem less listings less buyers more listing more buyers we can expect that prices will stay semi-stable um, again a lot to be a lot to be seen we have a lot of information and details and kind of specifics that will unfold over the coming weeks and months but right now, that's the trajectory that we're seeing. So getting out there now in the, in the purchase market may not be a bad idea, but rental market, you may have a little more flexibility. You may see things soften. Just what we're seeing at this point where, where we sit today. Next thing I want to do is just take a quick look at the, um, the data we're seeing this year versus what we're seeing over the past uh, two years. So what I did was look at what's happening in 2020 during the first two weeks of April versus the average of what happened the two years prior. I didn't want to just use one year, could have had a, a weird year, one high or low for whatever reason in that period. So I took the average of the two. And the first two weeks of April, again, we're seeing a big, big downturn in new listings in Hoboken. And these numbers are very similar for, for Hudson County, but we just did Hoboken here to not you know drown in numbers all day. Um, they're very similar. I have them. If anybody wants them, I'm happy to share. Um, we saw 33 new listings come on the market during those two weeks versus 102 the past two years average, down 67%. So less listings actually is healthier for a market that's slowing down. So at least it wasn't flooded with new listings, which would have caused a really downward, real downward pressure on prices. Now, the big thing to look at is what did that do in comparison to under contracts? And we saw 60% seven down, 67% down on new listings and 81% down under contracts. So we do have a market that is having less demand than supply still. Not crazy different numbers. We're looking at you know, 33 new listings versus 10 going under contract, down from 55. But a, so a pretty big drop during our busiest time of the year. Again, for, this was in the heart of you know the real stay-at-home orders were really coming on strong. There was not a lot of clarity on when and if these would be lifted this year, how long it would be taking the market the market to kind of adjust to this. So this was in that real heart of, uh, of the, the initial lockdowns. Moving on to the next two weeks, we're looking at new listings um, during the, the second and third or third and fourth week of April here. 2020 versus the last two years prior, and we're seeing a little bit less of a, of a, of a decrease. So initially we saw 67%. This is the first two weeks, seeing 62%. So 81 down to 31, things getting a little better. A lot of uncertainty still in the marketplace the second two weeks of April. So still a, a considerable downward movement. 
Now, how did we match up with pendings? Pendings, we saw a little bit of an increase, right? So we were down 81% the first two weeks, 71% the second two weeks. So 45 down to 13, still a big drop, but at least staying in unison, staying about 10% off of the new listing decrease was the under contract increase. So it volumes down, but kind of in lockstep. So now we look at the the new per, the purchase in the first two weeks of May, which this is a time that really things are starting to get a little better. We're starting to see some restrictions loosen, like we mentioned. New listings only down 50% from the two years prior. So we're definitely seeing an increase here. We started at 67%, 62%, now down to 50% of volume. So it's starting to come back. We're starting to see a lot more people with confidence. But the real sign for where this market might be heading is what happened with pendings. So we went all the way from 31 or um, 13 the two weeks prior to 26. So we doubled from two weeks ago in the last two weeks of April. We're only down 33% off of where we usually are in this time period to two years prior. So we're really starting to see buyer confidence come back. It's actually coming back quicker than new listings are coming on the market. So we're starting to see a, an imbalance of almost more demand as a, as a decrease from years prior versus new listings. So we're seeing a market that can snap back here possibly if this trend continues this way. Now, are there gonna be a bunch of new listings that come over the next two, three weeks that are maybe sitting there and, and gonna make these ratios a little bit back in the normal? Possible. Or it's possible that a lot of those people are really locked into the idea of renting and they don't snap back onto the market. And we do have more demand now that things are opening up, interest rates are still very low. If people were you know, lucky enough to keep their jobs or not take any pay decreases, their confidence is there. So it's something to keep an eye on. We're saying that in this market and probably for the foreseeable, you know, next three to six months got, or, or longer, we have to be proactive and we have to be flexible. So be proactive. Let us know if you have questions. Let's talk out some scenarios. Let's talk out some hypotheticals of what we think we can be seeing based on the, the data that we have right now. And then let's know that we need to be flexible. You know, we, I, we have listings coming up in the next few weeks where we told clients, this is the plan. But if we see a spike in numbers, if we see things go backwards, we may need to pivot and we may need to be flexible. So those are the uh, the two kind of main mantras that we're using to go through this marketplace, uh, taking a look at data to support those ideas, and then just being as proactive and flexible as possible. So guys, these are uh, some broad strokes numbers. If you wanna see something more specific for your town, your building, your neighborhood, uh, different time periods that you might like to explore in detail. We're on the phone all day long having one-on-one -on -one conversations about individual situations and um, helping people kind of understand what's happening and where we may be going. So guys, reach out to us if you need anything. Everyone stay safe and healthy, and we hope to see you out and about town soon as things continue to get better in Hoboken, Hudson County. See you guys.